Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. If you'd like any of your Ramadan related questions answered this month, you can email us at questions at amau.org. وأقول في القرآن ما جاءت به آياته فهو الكريم المنزل وأقول قال الله جل جلاله والمصطفى الهادي ولا أتأول. The question we're going to be answering today is as follows: To attain the rewards of praying night prayers in Ramadan, is it essential to pray every night of the month? And the second part of the same question, is this also true for Laylatul Qadr in the last 10 nights? Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa salatu wa salam ala abdillahi wa rasulih Nabiina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'een Amma ba'd With regard to praying the night prayers every single night of the month in Ramadan There is a hadith from our mother Aisha radiallahu anha and the hadith is recorded by Imam Muslim أحب الأعمال إلى الله تعالى أدومها وإن قل The most beloved deeds to Allah, the exalted, are the ones that are the most regular and consistent, even if they are small. And the narrator from Aisha said, وكانت عائشة إذا عملت العمل لزمته That Aisha, when she would start doing something, she would stick to it. And this, I feel, is very important for a person that they don't get into a habit of just doing some things and, and just being irregular. So doing something and then leaving it, doing something and then leaving it, doing it for a few days and then not doing it again. Rather, a person, even if the deed is small, should make it regular and consistent and try to, uh, and try to stick to it. As for what was mentioned in the question with regard to Laylatul Qadr, then the scholars differed with regard to Laylatul Qadr with more than or approximately 40 different opinions. al hafiz ibn Hajar rahimahullah ta'ala mentioned them in Fath al-Bari to the point that Abdullah ibn Mas'ud uh, radiallahu an, he said, Man yaqum al-hawl yusib Laylatul Qadr. He said, whoever stands every night of the year is guaranteed to have gained Laylatul Qadr. Now, we're going to hear the ahadith, the authentic ahadith, clearly indicate that Laylatul Qadr is in the last 10 days of Ramadan. But look at the approach that the Salaf al-Salih had. Their understanding was, we're going to try and pray every night of the year to get Laylatul Qadr. That's what Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, he said, if you want to get Laylatul Qadr, pray every night of the year. That's how, that was their mentality. Even though we're going to hear that their overwhelming, authentic, large number of authentic hadith that prove that Laylatul Qadr is in the last 10 days of Ramadan. So it's not right for a person to just pick a day out like that, just one night of the year and say that this is going to be the night that I'm going to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rather, a person should try to do as much as they can during the year as possible and even more in Ramadan and even more in the last 10 nights of Ramadan. And Ubadi ibn Samit, he said that he asked the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam about Laylatul Qadr. قَالَ فَإِنَّهَا فِي وِتْرِ إِحْدَى وَعِشْرِينَ أَوْ ثَلَاثٍ وَعِشْرِينَ أَوْ خَمْسٍ that it's on the odd nights, either 21 or 23 or 25 or 27 or 29. And Abdullah ibn Abbas narrated the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Iltamisuha fil ashr al awakhir min Ramadan. Look out for it in the last 10 days of Ramadan. Fi tasi'atin tabqa. Fi sabi'atin tabqa. فِي خَامِسَةٍ تَبْقَى When there are nine days left, or when there are seven days left, or when there are five days left. And if we look at these ahadith and we bring them together, then we can take three points that answer the person's question, inshaAllah ta'ala. First of all, that if you want to get Laylatul Qadr, do everything you can to pray every night of Ramadan and as many of the other nights of the year as you can. Because this is going to build the habits and inshallah going to get you the tawfiq from Allah to be able to achieve that. The second thing is that Laylatul Qadr falls in the last 10 nights of Ramadan and it falls on the odd nights. However, the odd nights could be measured from the beginning of the month or from the end of the month. If they're measured from the end of the month, then the days could switch around and the day you think is odd can be even and the day that you think is even can be, can be odd. So if you look at this month that we're in right now, we're expecting, for example, someone says the 21st night is expected to be 
the 13th, for example, and the 15th is expected to be the 23rd night, the 17th, and so on, the 25th night, and so on. Ultimately, that is counting from the beginning of the month according to the people who saw the moon on that day. But there are others who saw the moon, for example, on a different day. And if you count from the back of the month, then and if the month is short, then it could be that the day that you think or the month is long, it could also be that the day that you think is even is odd, and the day you think is odd is even. And so all you have to do is just to do all of those last 10 nights of Ramadan. And indeed, the nights that came before them as well. You do your best to do all the nights of Ramadan and you make a special effort in the last 10 nights of Ramadan. But as for the statement that you, you can only get the reward or the concern that you might not get any reward if you miss one night, then the, 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 the grace of Allah Azza wa Jalla and His mercy is vast. Uh, rahmatullahi wasi'ah wa fadlullahi wasi'ah The grace of Allah is vast and Allah's mercy is vast. And if you miss tonight, inshallah, you try your best, you make it up. But we definitely shouldn't be having the mentality of picking out one night during the, uh, the, the, the month or two nights or three nights or even five and saying, I'm just going to pray those and that's enough for me. Rather, we should be trying all of the nights of Ramadan, especially more so in the last 10 nights and even outside of Ramadan to build up those habits. And that is what a person should be doing and Allah Azza wa Jal knows best.